Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook. Good morning. Let me let Facebook be my audience. I'm holding my phone vertical, not horizontal this morning because I'm going to work in my truck, so I have to prompt it that way. Make sure my volume is up. So I want to talk to you about the new FICO score, the new ultra FICO score that's coming in 2019. I should have uh, got me a hoodie and a jacket. It's pretty cold. I'm in Mississippi today. The new ultra FICO score that's coming in 2019. And why, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, uh, it will ultimately hurt your credit score, right? So let's talk about your credit score real briefly. I'm gonna try to pump this phone. Yeah, see if that will that work. Let's talk about your credit score. Why is good credit important? Besides just uh, thank you for coming in. You come in, make sure you hit the like and share button for me. Pump this. Why is good credit important? Besides having your dream home, your dream vehicle, I believe lower interest rate, right? Affordability. Get some things refinanced. Giving you an opportunity to have more money in your month, right? Why is having a great, great credit score is important? Well, first of all, um, biblically, the Bible tells us that a good name is to be honored. When you don't have money above all else in this financial world, you need to have a creditable name. Creditable name gets you lower interest rate. It gives you favor. You know, I'm using a lot of church terminology this morning. Because oftentimes, in the church, we talk about favor. We talk about the favor of God, right? But we don't have a credit score to position us for the financial favor on earth. Come on, come on. I'm in my truck. Come on, prop. Work for me. Work for me. So, what's the new Ultra FICO score that's going to be released in 2019? Well, this scoring model is supposedly to help people who may not have, um, at this point, credit lines, right? They don't have Visa cards. They don't have MasterCards. But what it will be based upon is your checking account transaction and balances. Meaning that now, if you're a person that do not have a checking account, and you're one of these people uh, with the mindset that I pay cash for everything, which I don't advocate, then in 2019, this new scoring model and how it's it made up, because we know that your FICO score, your credit score, already consists of um, five things, right? And payment history, paying bills on time, paying bills on time and how much balances you have on those bills is a part of that payment history, right? And so um, those those are two. That makes up 65% of how your credit score is calculated or the algorithm or your FICO score. So I might just try to hold my phone temporarily while I'm on this back road. So um, now the new scoring model is saying, hey, we are going to people that don't have a Visa or MasterCard or any of the major credit card. We are going to give these people an opportunity to get 50, 60 points, build their credit score just based off their checking account um, balances. They're saying that the average monthly balance that they're looking for, the scoring model to be released in 2019, is going to be uh, uh, like at least $400, right? $400 on a monthly basis. Do you keep that $400 monthly basis, whether you have a checking account, savings account, money marketing account, right? Um, do you 
have insufficient fund fees. So now it's not just late fees on your credit cards or let me just try to hold this. Late fees on your um, account or your credit cards or now it's going to be looking at do you have insufficient fund fees and are you paying your bills on time out of your checking account? So it's going to consist of a lot more things. So if you're a person that have a lot of insufficient fund fees, you have a low cash flow, right? Um, you don't, um, you know, keep a high balance in your checking account. This could help people that do, that don't have major credit cards, but it will hurt the ones that don't. It's in simple terms. So that's why I put a, a post on my timeline. What's the best way to increase your cash flow? And the correct answer was D. You can look on my timeline and see that how to shift your income. That's why it's, it's going to be important now in 2019 to understand what income shifting is how to keep a positive cash flow in your checking account balances and why number one if you don't have a checking account you need to have one this is pretty much forcing people to have checking accounts so that the credit and the financial world can see if you are a creditable person you know now when we was getting out of it and saying i'm not going to have a discover card i'm not going to have a visa card I'm not going to have a MasterCard. I'm not going to have an Amex, American Express. Now, they are going to see other ways if you are a creditable person through your checking account. So, again, if you're keeping a checking account balance below $400, if you have insufficient fund fees, if you're not paying your utilities on time, um, they are keeping accurate records of this now, and it's really forcing people to really learn financial education. It's really forcing people to really look at their creditable name now, coming in 20. It's really forcing people to be about what Kevin and I discuss, and I tag him in this video all the time, of building positive cash flow having a, 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 a debt elimination plan and having a financial plan in place, right, that goes beyond setting budgets because now this is going to consist of do you have positive cash flow? Do you have positive cash flow? Do you pay your utilities on time? Are you getting insufficient funds? Do you have an oh, emergency savings account? It's going to calculate that. Do you have savings in your... These are all the principles that Kevin and I um, teach and I tagged him in this video if you all don't know who Kevin is I refer to him as the king of cash flow I'm the queen of credit um, because I, I inform people all the time yes I can get negative items removed from your credit report but that does not add positive items to your credit report meaning that you can get all negative items removed but if you have no positive positive account history reporting you can still very well have a low credit score it's just like someone who has no credit score right because it's not showing any positive history even if you get the negative removed um, so the new ultra FICO score um, is said to be released you can um, google this or you can put it in your YouTube everyone is the buzz everyone is talking about it because it's said to be released in the first quarter of 2019, meaning that will be um, somewhere around the time January, February, March, or April, right? Um, you know, in sports, I coach sports, we talk about quarters. You have a first quarter, second quarter, halftime, third quarter, fourth quarter. So um, hit like and hit share if this was any um, help to you. Make sure you hit the um, subscribe button, thumbs up button if you're watching on YouTube. But that's the recap of the new Ultra FICO score. So if you want to prepare for that, um, then you need to message me, connect with me. Not only can I help you remove negative items, derogatory items from your credit report, I can also help you understand how to get positive cash flow and understand what income shifting is and why you need this going into 2019 to be financially successful. Hey, I'm signing off. 
queen of credit, Miss Coach Deloach.